special version of tomorrow's world. You'll never see a show quite like this one again. We promise. We thought just for a bit of a Christmas fling, we'd enter the world of game shows. Now, you'll have already noticed we have an audience with us tonight. They're not here just to chivvy us along or even to try to make us look popular. They are, in fact, one of the teams. And the sort of thing that they'll have to decide is who's telling the truth. For instance, this is quite clearly a viewing screen which replaces the eyepiece on microscopes. Well, that's one interpretation, but you know, people have got different ideas on things, haven't they, Judith? Never, never. In fact, it's for stimulating the growth of seeds, cacti seeds particularly. What happens is the sun's rays are collected at this end, focused by that lens there, and they stimulate the seed's growth. But Judith, Simple. why would you want to grow cactus seeds inside your doorknob? Because that's what it is, a doorknob with a built-in intruder peephole so that you can see who's knocking on your front door. Well, one of us is telling the truth, and the audience have to work out who. Amongst them is Maggie. Yes, now, don't get too excited, because there are no points this time, right? We're just doing this to make sure that you've got the hang of your little buzzers here, because each member of our audience is equipped with one of these voting buttons, and I'm going to ask you to vote now and decide whether you think it's a microscope eyepiece, <coughs> a seed germinator, or a door security peephole. Right? Oh, right? We all reckon it's the microscope eyepiece. I was always very convincing, wasn't I? But who, which one of us was telling the truth? Would I lie to you? Who's going to tell the truth? Now, later there will be a points awarded for that sort of thing. There's one <laughs> rise off from here, it's true. And uh, we can't have one team without somebody else to play. You heard a cry from off, and they are our guest panel. <laughs> of our expert panel is Colin Baker, Doctor Who. Good of you to find the right time to, to join us. It's nice you're back again, because I was on the 50,000th edition when the TARDIS was, the prototype was shown. Oh, was I still on the show? No, you were. <laughs> <on the show. laughs> Replaced, was I? On Colin's left is Heather Cooper, the well-known astronomer. And over on the right, Neil Cousins, who's the director of the Science Museum. Good luck to you all. Right, we have our two teams, we also have our scoreboards ready and waiting. Let's get right on with the game. What on earth do you think this might be? Five points and the audience get first go at this. Judith. Now, I know you're so perceptive, you'll have sussed this one straight away. It is, of course, a device designed to stimulate the neurons of the pyramidal tract in the brain. I hardly need to remind you, but this region connects the forebrain to the motor nerves of the hands. And this ingenious, flexible design allows numerous arrangements of fingers to be inserted and then exercised by gentle stretching and twisting. The result, it's claimed, is reduced tension and improved muscle tone. One word of warning, though. A device like this should, of course, be used only under strict medical supervision. I hate complicated scientific explanations. No, this is very simply a target for would-be top-class footballers. Slung in the goalpost, and you have to... Hey, what about that? <laughs> <laughs> I've been practising all day and failed, so I've got to do it just to prove it's not a fluke, OK? Now, to make it... Oh, missed there. I must point out that to make it harder or easier, it can be slipped up or down like this, or it can even be moved along as you wish. So there we are, a target for footballers. England, please note. Brian Robson will be a worried man this evening. Well done, Peter. Now, for our third suggestion, it's time to welcome the first of our mystery guests. Now, someone who is never the bride, but always the groom at Mufflin's. <laughs> I love my horses, I really do. This one's a bit lively, better than the ones we've got at Maplin's. At least he moves, and uh, <laughs> I don't think his Royal Highness could fall off that one. Anyway, I... <laughs> we actually use this, we actually use this to put pretty patterns on the horse's bottom. Uh, I'll show you how it's done in a moment. We really do. I will show you how it's done. I will demonstrate to you how it's done if this horse doesn't tread on my toe. I've got Oscar's toe as it is. Here we go. I'll bang it on there like that, uh, and, and I brush it up just like that. Uh, I'm not, I'm not uh, a little bit worried about the horse, so I won't brush too far, but I think you'll get the general idea by doing that, by doing that and that, it leaves, and you must agree, uh, it, it leaves a really lovely pattern. And <laughs> it really is. So, it's uh, a device to stimulate Judith's brain. The tablets must not be working. 
Peter's way of entering or getting a place in the England soccer team, or a way for Felix to always give his horses a tidy hide. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> well, it's five points going for the audience. Maggie, what are your thinking? up there? No, no points for the joke, though. Now, what do you reckon, sir? Let, let's start with you. I think the, se the, um, the second one, football uh, goal trainer. Football goal trainer, you reckon? Would you agree with that? Well, no, I think the, the third one, the horse. Sort of horse bum pretty fire. Oh, yeah. right. <laughs> well, let's see what everyone thinks. You've got your buttons ready, because this is a real thing now. Going for points. Press them, please. And let us know, are you going for the tracked machine there, the football goal trainer, or the horse pretty fire? Let's wait till it settles down. There we go. Ooh. The goal trainer, 58%. Are they right? We shall find out. What about the uh, panel? Very quickly, what would your decision be on that? I think we all think something quite different, don't we? We do, yes. absolutely. Yes. It's a good start, yes. isn't it? Basically, <laughs> basically, we've all planned for one each. So as I, uh, um, ex officio, the doctor here, I shall plump for my choice, being uh, totally undemocratic. I think, uh, being an equine fundamentalist, that it's the, the horse pretty fire. So there. OK, so the audience go for Peter's explanation, the panel for Felix, with the person who is telling the truth. Please step forward. <laughs> Both completely wrong. What a cracking start, eh? No points each. But thanks very much to our first guest, Felix Bowness and Flashjack. <laughs>